This morning, we have an update on a 60 Minutes investigation from a year ago. Greg Mortensen, the author of the bestseller Three Cups of Tea, has agreed to repay more than $1 million to a charity he co-founded. As Jim Axelrod shows us, Montana's Attorney General has confirmed Mortensen mismanaged charity funds. I made a rash promise that day, and he said, I promise I'll help you build a school. For years, Greg Mortensen has traveled the country promoting his best-selling books and raising tens of millions of dollars to build schools in Afghanistan and Pakistan. But a 31-page report by Montana Attorney General Steve Bullock has revealed Mortensen failed to reimburse his own charity, the Central Asia Institute, for more than a million dollars in expenses and used some of the money donated to the organization for things like L.L. Bean clothing, iTunes downloads, luggage, luxurious accommodations, and even family vacations. Bullock launched his investigation last April, two days after a 60 Minutes report by Steve Croft aired. Croft and his team spent seven months looking into the story, conducting more than 100 interviews in eight different languages. They uncovered evidence of mismanagement by Mortensen, and after repeated attempts to talk to him, finally sought him out at a book signing in Atlanta. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Thanks. You got five minutes for us today? Um, I need to sign these books right now, so. Yeah, I know. You know, we haven't heard from, it's been almost a week, we haven't heard from you or the board, and we're just trying to, I, need to sign I don't want to right disrupt now. this, but. Well, you're already disrupting it, so. Okay. Thanks. Can we come back? We'll wait for you. Thanks. Hey, how are you? Under the Attorney General's settlement, Mortensen has resigned as executive director, and the charity's entire board must step down within a year. Going forward, there will be accountability, um, there will be transparency, there will be an assurance that if donors end up wanting to give to Central Asia Institute, that their dollars will be used right. On CAI's website, the interim director released a statement saying, while we respectfully disagree with some of the analysis and conclusions in the OAG's report, we look forward to moving ahead as an even stronger organization, focusing on CAI's vital mission. Mortensen will still work for the charity, but he won't be allowed to oversee any financial matters. For CBS This Morning, I'm Jim Axelrod. I remember I interviewed him, Greg, before this CBS report came out because everybody said to me, you have got to read this book. And, that, and that's how I came across it. A girlfriend yeah. of mine, a former colleague, said to me, you have to read this, yeah. pass it on to my mother. And we all had that reaction. You couldn't put it down. It was such a wonderful story. Mm. Um, but, you know, some, uh, some Until other 60 Minutes started looking into funding. Yeah, but still, we should point out, though, too, um, you know, a lot of good was done right. in many, in many different areas and, and a lot of awareness raised. So if there is a good to come out of it, then it is definitely that. Mm.